what if people get to know that I don't know it? What if people think that I don't deserve it? Few thoughts, they might have crossed your head. Or maybe you know someone who think about these thoughts. What is this? Why it happens? We are going to talk about it today. We are also going to talk about the remedy of it today. Before that, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Prableen Gupta, founder and director of Personal Mastery. This particular phenomenon or the kind of thoughts that I have just shared with you and there are some related series of thoughts associated with these thoughts also is generally known as imposter syndrome. Now you must be thinking what is imposter syndrome and many of you might be already aware of it. So let me explain this to you, the psychology of it. How a human brain works. Basically, whenever we do something, our brain gets that signal that, okay, this has been done. Achievement, right? You must have heard about dopamine as well, which is related to this kind of thing. Now, what happens that whenever you say that you will do something, but you don't do it because of X, Y, Z reason, something is there in the head at the subconscious level, which keeps on telling you, you didn't do it that time, you didn't do it that time. And this is when it starts to build up. And when it builds up, it starts to create a series of thought patterns that you are not accomplishing what you are saying. And this is where the imposter feeling starts to get into you. Now, this simply means that you are not an imposter, but you are not following those things which you promised yourself that you will be doing it because of which now your mind is giving you these thoughts that you are an imposter. So basically, simply in very simple terms, imposter syndrome happens because of the mismatch between knowing, being and doing which means that you know something, but you are not doing it. And because you are not doing it, your being is not reflecting what you know and what you preach people about. So now what is the cure of it? It is very simple. The cure of it is that whatever you know and preach to other people, start doing it also, start living it. And you will find that your being will start to shape up accordingly. Your being will start to reflect things accordingly. And this imposter syndrome will actually leave you forever. Now, when I'm saying forever, this imposter syndrome will leave you. This doesn't mean that if you stop following those commitments or fulfilling those promises and commitments that you have made to yourself, if you stop doing that, it will not come back. It will come back again. So what we need to do is we need to keep a check on ourselves that are we fulfilling the things. Now I'm sure that many of you might think that you know there are times when we cannot fulfill what we have committed to ourselves which is okay but the point is that please pay very close attention to the intentions of not fulfilling the commitment. I repeat Please pay very close attention to the intention of not fulfilling the commitment. That intention will tell you whether it was mandatory to not fulfill it or was it just an excuse because of some comfort zone thing or because of some laziness or because of some mood swings. So if it is related to the mood swings, because I wanted to be comfortable, because I was not uh, so interested in it, then imposter syndrome is going to come back. Having said this, if that unfulfillment of something was temporary because of some circumstantial things, then your subconscious knows. We, we know it, our mind knows everything. So accordingly, it will let you do it maybe the next day or the next possible time which is there. In any which case, you are fulfilling the promise and the commitment with yourself. So I will say it's too much of uh, be easy with yourself. We have done it too much. Let's bring it down. Let's be strict with ourselves because you are a leader or you are aspiring to be a leader. And as a leader, we cannot afford to be too easy with ourselves. So let's be a little bit stricter with ourselves. Let's keep a watch on ourselves that 
am I doing what I know and what I preach? And if I am doing it, I guarantee that imposter syndrome will never ever be able to touch you. Practice this. Practice your knowing, being and doing. Equate it and see how fulfilled, content and satisfied you feel. Thank you for listening to me. You are a leader. Behave like one. Happy leading.